1969, when we landed on the moon, there were all these articles that came out. Old timers will remember Life magazine, Look magazine, talking about the future. They said, we're on the moon in 1969, we'll have colonies on Mars by 1985. You realize we have not left low Earth orbit since 1972, 52 years ago. And you're asking me in 50 years whether we're gonna have colonies on Mars? You're asking that because it looks like that's just the next thing to happen. However, that's not why we ever went anywhere in space. We went into space because we felt threatened by the godless communists. And we were reacting to everything they did in space. They put up Sputnik, we freaked out, we founded NASA. They put up a dog, we put up a chimp. We put up a thing, and this kept going. And then we got to the moon, we looked over our shoulder, wait, where are the Ruskins? The rest? oh, they're not here, okay. Then we ended the space program. We had Apollo 18 ready to fly, we never flew it. Because the Russians said, we ain't following you to the moon. Y'all, it's crazy, okay? <laughs> so, but we're going back to the moon now. Project Artemis. NASA was early woke here. Artemis is the twin sister of Apollo. And NASA's going back to the moon? Well, why are they going now? Why did they stay on the moon in 1972 or go back in 1980 or 1990 or 2000 or 2010? Why? Oh, China says they want to put astronauts on the moon. And all of a sudden, hey, wouldn't it be good if we went back to the moon? <laughs> yeah, sure, let's do that. And, that can, and Trump announces this, and it smoothly goes into the Biden administration, and it's going to continue back. And uh, that's something that transcends all politics, because we are spooked by other folks who might get to someplace before us.